coffee beans without a grinder. We've got some raw beans here. Oh, just dropped one on the floor. Nice. And those are the beans. So I'm going to show you the process here in the next part of the video. So all I have right now is these sandwich bags. Well, let's see if it'll work. Hopefully it will. I'll show you a couple different other ways. Um, we can use these, but I prefer freezer bags. So if you have a freezer bag, um, it works a lot better. You need two of those. I would use them double thick. Let's just do this and see if it works. So you go ahead and put your beans in your bag, and then we're going to double bag it. But I'm also going to show you guys another thing here in just a second about another way to do it. If you don't have bags, maybe only you have is a trash bag. Um, any of these things will work. Um, it just depends on, you know, what you have resources. So this is a way when you're camping, let's say you didn't bring your coffee grinder. Um, maybe you're in a motel and you don't, you know, you really don't have any resources. You don't have anything. Maybe you can get a bag of any kind and put the coffee beans in it, but definitely put it double thick. So real quick, I want to say, um, open up the bag, try and get all the air out. There's some people that say, you need a little bit of air in there. No, you want as much air out of it as you can because it just uh, opens it up for a problem here in a second. I'll show you. A lot of ways you can do this, a lot of tools you can use. Just one second. I'll show you the rest. I'm also going to show you guys another thing. We're going to use plastic wrap, and we're going to do it with that too. So you take your plastic wrap and you go ahead and wrap up your beans nicely like that. Get them all into the middle. And wrap it up. And you want to do multiple layers. So you go ahead and do them like this. And then do them a lot of times so that you have a lot of layers to go through. Um, it's going to be a little bit messy to try and get it out of this, but this um, will work. You want a lot of layers. The trick is a lot of layers of plastic. And uh, some people use, uh, I've seen some people use like a towel over it. No, we're not going to do that. Now what you need to do now is find a smooth surface. So you can find a flat rock if you're somewhere camping. You can find a flat um, surface if you have concrete around you somewhere. Um, sometimes you could use a truck bumper. Let's look a look. So instead of, uh, you could be somewhere, you could use a flat rock, a piece of concrete, uh, something that's hard. You could even use your uh, frame rail on your trailer. Um, something flat and um, try and find a rock that's large and flat like this. And all you do is just crush them. This rocks, this thing's not very good for it, but real simple. Plastic wrap really works really well because it's more flexible than the bag. And this only takes a couple seconds to do. I've seen people using a hammer. <laughs> it's like, come on, people, come on. Give me a break. Hammer. It's too small of a surface. So then we'll do this here. And this will work. You're not going to get, you know, the super fine ground. You also have two thicknesses of bags, so you just use one thickness and you're probably going to have a lot of leaks. You're going to have a few leaks from doing this, but it's really grinding your coffee and it honestly, it only takes a few seconds to do. So you can be, now you're going to try, you're going to have some heavier pieces of beans, so you want to just work your way along slowly. The more you crush it. The finer the grind. And this will get you your hot coffee when you're somewhere and all you got is beans. This works really good though because it's really flat. I'm getting a little bit of leakage here. But that's okay because you're in nature. You're going to be somewhere. Not gonna do this on your kitchen counter, okay? You're gonna screw up your kitchen counter pretty bad doing that. Let's take a look inside the house. Lost a few, of course. You're gonna happen. You're in need you're in nature and that's the way it works. Hang on a second. So we're back here inside on the kitchen counter. And I'm gonna go ahead and open these up and uh, pour them into something so you can see what it looks like. Alright, so let's turn the light on here, get a really good view of this. 
it's actually a pretty, um, there's a few coarse pieces in here, but it's actually a pretty fine grind, not too bad. A medium grind, I would say, um, medium to medium coarse. And uh, this will make a great cup of coffee right here. You're not going to be disappointed. In fact, it's about like what maybe about like the Folgers cans are. But that's, just, you know, that, that coffee so processed. You know, this is real coffee. So if you're somewhere and you forgot your coffee grinder, um, maybe you're just on the street. I mean, you could literally boil some water and dump this in, you know, take this and hold it over, you know, hold it with steam. You know, drop, drop, you know, it could fold this up and put it in some water, hot water, and uh, it would actually make coffee right there where you are. So, anyway, a couple ideas, you know, if you're stuck somewhere or you didn't forgot your coffee grinder, don't have it with you, and there's a little way you can actually make the coffee, um, make the coffee grinds and do it, you know, not a bad job. If we spent a little bit more time on this, I'd have it a little bit, um, like if I had a freezer bag, you know, you get what you, you have, you have whatever you have. If all you have is a trash bag, you know, double it up, make it really nice and thick, and just beat the hell out of it with a rock, and you're good to go. All right, talk to you in the next video.